we're here at Mazax European Technology Centre and I must compliment you on this wonderful turnkey solution, but can you tell us a bit more about the machine? Yes, the machine that you see behind us is our Integrex E670 and uh, it's a full multitasking machine able to both turn, mill and do five axis and a host of other operations which make it very attractive for our customers. Just to give you an idea of the size, it's about one metre swing diameter and uh, we can go up to bed lengths of six metres catering for a weight of seven tonnes. And I know you've done a collaboration with Sambic on this, we'll come on to that in a minute, but typically who would purchase a machine of this size? Well, there are a number of key industries that they sell into. Aerospace is one of those, particularly manufacture of things such as landing gear. But we sell a lot of these machines into oil and gas, particularly for companies that make very complex, high-value workpieces. When developing a machine such as this, what challenges do you have to overcome? Well, when you look at components, it's not just all about the, the, uh, the swing diameter and the length of the component. It's about the application features. And very complex workpieces require those kind of um, uh, in innovative solutions. So what we have on the machine is a number of features. One that's particularly of interest today is the long boring bar stocker. So we can see that uh, boring operations going up to 1.5 meters in, 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 in depth can be handled in an automatic fashion. The machine has a boring bar stocker that can cater for three long boring bars. So it means that the full machining cycle can be carried out in an automated fashion. And the partnership with Sandvik Coromant, how's that gone? Well, that's very interesting. You know, we produce a machine that has a lot of technology. We're very much an innovator, and uh, Sandvik also are very similar to that. So we see this as a very beneficial um, joint venture together with, with this. And it's fair to say, smart tooling, as it's being called around the industry, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of fluff, isn't there? But this is real technology. Well, I think this is game-changing technology because for this, you can really see an end value for the customer and we have for a long time been developing a done-in-one system uh, which has been very very successful but as the market is changing customers are seeking really now to reduce their downtimes uh, skill shortages are appearing this type of technology is very beneficial for the customer i'm interested to learn more about the actual integration from the tooling itself to your control well industry four is a large focus now and when we develop this new smooth control uh, this machine that you see is equipped with Smooth X. One of our key objectives was the connectivity. So the integration with Sunvik is seamless. Their application is fitted directly onto our control and in the same manner in which the operator would operate the CNC from a machining point of view, he can access the application for, for Sunvik's technology. And how about, again, we hear a lot about Internet of Things, smart factories, but how is that, you know, how is that benefiting uh, engineers? Well, if we see particularly on this application, uh, we've got a very high value machine and the tooling is of high value as well. You combine that with a workpiece which is typically very high value, then we want to machine, make sure that we machine that component um, in the most efficient uh, manner, but also protecting those key assets. So when we're seeing that um, the operator, their skills are enhanced by the feedback they're getting off the bar in terms of the vibration, in terms of the uh, surface finish, in terms of the deflection, Effectively, the operator has got another eye inside of the machine and it's helping them. It proves to be a real value for what the operator is seeking to achieve. Stan McCormick has developed a, a sort of a data exchange interface towards the machine control system, which allows us to partner with uh, Masek, for example, and, and work together to be able to rapidly share process data between the tool and the machine control system to perform timely uh, emergency stops or even adaptive control as we continue to develop the solution. What we have done here is implement a Bluetooth antenna to talk to the bar and then we take that into a device sitting in the machine running the software which is then further connected to the actual control system of the machine. What happens if I'm not lucky enough to have a control as sophisticated as this? Uh, it's a possibility to connect directly to the bar uh, with an external tablet, with any tablet that supports uh, uh, Bluetooth. So I know Mazak is a brand, you've got a big share in the oil and gas sector, especially with machines such as this. But what other components are being manufactured on, on a big, big machine like this? Well, it does suit a number of industries. Uh, the one you mentioned, obviously, is, uh, is, is key. But in aerospace, for manufacture of things like landing gear, but also any other industry where they require a high value component that requires a number of operations. With the done in one principle, 
it very much suits where you can complete all operations in, in a single visit to the machine. So anything from oil and gas to aerospace right through to the manufacture of uh, perhaps industrial parts for machinery. And I guess scrap, fader, it's not an option, is it, some of these components? It, it, it is not, and really when you consider the value of the, um, the components and you also consider now that um, recently a lot of, a lot of uh, business is done perhaps with smaller lot sizes. So one of the key elements is really to produce parts effectively, to reduce the setup time and to ensure the accuracy is there on the very first part that we produce. And just finally, this, this machine's huge, it's multitasking, like you say. Is it a niche machine or are you selling plenty? We sell plenty of these. We make a range. This is the, probably the middle size. We make a smaller machine, the E500, and we go up to the large E800, which goes to 8 metres in length and 1.3 metres in diameter.